are you together? doing? I'm well. I like your tie. <laughs> my friend, um, my friend um, Hernan is a designer, and so I've kind of sent in everything around this because I love it so much. Um, so tell us, what can people expect from Foundation Season 2, and in particular from your character? So, um, the series follows on from the first, but what I really love about this series is I feel like the writers have really got hold on the characters in the world, set up in the first series, but this one really jumps in. It's so high octane action, twists and turns. It's really riveting and so much happens. I just think it's brilliant and to look at it's insane. And in terms of my character, I'm quite high up in the Empire's military. Um, he's a very, uh, very conflicted character with a big heart without giving anything away. He goes on a really big journey. I'm, I'm a master of martial arts, which was cool. So I got to do loads of fight training, um, loads of really cool fight scenes. Yeah, it's, it's really great. So what did your preparation look like in that sense? I mean, I guess you've got to get into all the detail from, from Isaac's books and the yeah. scripts, but then also preparing physically for, for doing all that kind of thing. Yeah, exactly. I did a combination of reading all the books, doing all my text work and imaginative work, but then we had an amazing team of stunt guys um, in Ireland and in Prague, wherever we went, we were, we were training all the time because I have so many fight scenes. So it was, it was really fun. It was just a part of our day. We'd go in, we'd train, work on the choreography, fighting with staffs, fighting in vehicles in space. What more do you want? <laughs> um, and what were some of the highlights or challenges? Did anything go wrong or did you have a favourite moment on set? Um, I think <laughs> one moment that went a bit wrong, we, we had this big fight sequence and it's very difficult on set because things would change and stuff and then when you get to location, it's different to where you rehearsed, had this sequence with um, a staff and something happened with the distance. Luckily, it was kind of padded, but I fully, I fully smacked my lovely stunt lady's face in the face. She was okay, but you can imagine I was being all serious. I was like, crack! I was like, oh my god, I'm so sorry. So that was that was pretty bad. Uh, and what about working with your fellow cast? I mean, it looks like there's such a bond between everyone, you know, and 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 just the kind of detail that has you have to go into. I mean, you must have a, such a shared experience from it all. Yes, absolutely. The cast was so brilliant and so wonderful. We had a great time. I was working alongside my kind of main storyline is alongside Ben Daniels, who play, plays um, Bel Rios, and he and I have worked together on another job. So it was such a gift because we work in a very similar, slightly neurotic, detailed way. So we were rehearsing, tearing the story apart, coming to script. So it was a real joy in terms of the main part of my arc. And then we just had a laugh, all of us, on Sightly Pace, Laura Byrne, such, such a hoot. And in terms of what people can take away from watching it, you know, there is that element of escapism to sci-fi, but then there's so much that can chime with people in terms of the human stories and the characters. Yeah, like you said, I think it's, it's a very entertaining story. It's so much action and it's wonderful. But the thing I love most about it isn't just kind of sci-fi. It's really got heart behind it and the characters are really nuanced and they really take you on a journey. And it's very much about the power of what we can do as individuals and when we stand up to, to the big bad guys. And can you tell us what you might be working on next or you've got some ambitions for people you'd like to work with or different genres you want to try? Yeah, well, at the moment I'm working on a Netflix series called Fool Me Once, which I'm filming at the moment. Um, people I'd love to work with, Ari Aster, who's a hereditary midsummer, oh, I just adore him. And Mike White, who's done um, White Lotus, I think is a genius. So I'm putting it out there. <laughs> Both very good options. Um, well, thank you so much. Really enjoy the night. Thank you.